All right, here's the pug machine. We have switches here, the on off switch, mix and pug, the top of it is the direction it'll go. So you switch the top over to mix or the top over to pug. The speed should always be set at about seven and a half. And here's the vacuum pump. This is the hopper where you will put the clay in. This is where it extrudes the clay. We're gonna start by taking dry clay and about the size of golf balls and filling up the bottom of this machine. While you're filling, you want to make sure there's no paper towels, pieces of sponge, or anything besides clay that you're putting into the machine. Okay, once we have it about that full, you're going to take two scoops of wet clay. And you're going to close this lid, push down here, and then lock it with this handle. Then you're going to come over to the mix and flip it over to mix and wait five minutes. After five minutes, we're going to turn this to stop. You're going to open this up. You'll see there's still more room in there. So we're just going to take more dry clay. Turn it back to mix for another five minutes. After five minutes, you open the lid and check it. If there's still empty space, you add more dry clay until it's full. After another five minutes, open and check. If it looks like so, you can squish it. You just want to feel, see if there's hard pieces of clay. If there's hard chunks of clay, you're just going to get a little bit of water in a container like so, and just put some water in. I usually start with about a quarter of one of those containers of water, put it in, close it, and mix for another five minutes. So after it mixes, again, we're going to open when it looks like so. You felt in there, there's no hard pieces of clay. Um, we're going to get a wet washcloth, and we're going to clean these edges here. So there is no clay on them. You can use, if there's big chunks, just use a scraper. Scrape that clay off and this edge here. Around this side. This side. And under here. Get that washcloth again. Those edges there need to be completely clean of any clay. Okay, then we're going to come on this side, and we have these three holes. We want to make sure 
There's no clay in those holes. Now we're going to shut this. Then you're going to turn on the vacuum pump. This red handle is going to turn on. And we're going to watch that needle bounce around. Once it gets up near the point zero 0.04, you're going to turn this over to mix and get that needle up to about the point zero 0.08. Sometimes it doesn't get all the way there, but the needle will stop moving. See, it's just ba not bouncing anymore. It's holding place. Once it's there, you're going to turn this from mix to pug. You'll come over here, and that's going to start to push this cap off. Once it starts to push it off, then you can take it off, set the lid off to the side. When the clay gets between these two rollers, you're going to cut it with this handle. And then you remove that piece of clay, set it off to the side. You see, I just left that handle down the cutter until it gets to the new spot again. Then I will move this handle up, cut, wait, gets there. On a completely full hopper you should be able to get six to eight logs of clay out. Okay, once it has stopped pugging or slowed down, it's not really coming out very fast, just cut off that last chunk, come back over, turn it to mix. That's going to suck in the rest of that clay. Once it sucks in, then you come over, turn this to stop, open up the red handle, let it run just for a couple seconds to make sure there's no moisture in there. Then turn off the vacuum pump. Take the lid, put the lid back on, open up the top. There will still be some clay in there, that's normal. Um, and then from here you would just start over.